great. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with fate. Not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. thing in the world is the sound of a charge plate running through the machine. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sales really turn you on, don't they, Nell? Oh, like honey to a bee. Come on, we're buzzing over there. Come on. Uh, Nell, I can't. I'm going to Katie's apartment for dinner. You would rather eat than shop? Yeah. Wait a minute, Samantha. You're my favorite. I love shopping with you. Julie, my favorite. Oh, you can get your purse. We're going to Mars as they have having a sale. I can't. Jonathan and I are going to the movies. Oh, forget Jonathan. He's just your husband. Come go shopping with me. <laughs> well, I think it's important for a married couple to spend an evening together. You mean you would rather work on your marriage and go shopping with me? What kind of wife are you? <laughs> no, really. I just don't want to disappoint Jonathan. Have a good time at the sale. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a better idea. Why don't we all go to the movies and we can all go shopping? See, it's open to midnight. It's a moonlight sale and... No. Okay, go ahead. Save your rotten marriage. See if I can. <laughs> I think I kind of hurt Nell's feelings. Oh, really? How? Well, I sort of didn't invite her to go to the movies with us. Movies? Yeah, you said we were going to go to the movies tonight. Oh, those movies. <laughs> Luigi's Pizza, made from Italian cows. <laughs> and goats. <laughs> We're going bowling. No. No, this isn't a bowling jacket. It's for bocce ball. Luigi started a bocce ball league. I thought we were going to the movies. We are. We are. I was just practicing. There's a game tonight against Bunadecci's Fiat, but I said no. No, the old lady has me all night. What old lady? You. <laughs> me? The old lady? <laughs> oh, I get it. The little woman. <laughs> That's right. That's right. My better half. The ball and chain. The missus. The former missus. Oh, come on, Julie. I was just kidding. You think Tom Hayden talks to Jane Fonda this way? I doubt it. I hear she doesn't have much of a sense of humor either. Jonathan! Come on. It's almost dark enough to back into the drive-in. <laughs> How would you like to go for a walk? A walk? Oh, yes. We haven't been for a walk in a long time. And I know a wonderful place. It's so beautiful. It's well lit. It's safe. It's flat. It's right in front of Morrison's department store. Cut and bait, can... now I am not going shopping with you. <laughs> but, Papa, please, please, I'm begging you. And, oh, no. You're going swimming with Eddie and Malcolm. Swimming? Yeah, last week we saw Cocoon, and we're going to see if the pool at the YMCA works. <laughs> I don't need two people. I can just call Eddie. Hi, dear. I guess you saw the ad about the sale for Morrison's. What time should I pick you up, huh? Oh, wait a second while I turn the TV down. Everyone, shh. Oh, <clears throat> I'd 
love to go now, but I can't. Uh, I have this awful cold, a fever of 102, aching at every joint. I just hope it doesn't get any worse. Well, you sound terrible. Can I bring you over anything? No, uh, no, no, nothing. You, you know me, though. When I get sick, I just want to be left alone. Achoo! Oh, bless you. Oh, look, uh, Addy, I, I don't want to bother you. Why don't I just call you later, okay? I call you first thing in the morning. Uh, don't call early, Nell. I, I, I think I may sleep in. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. You need to rest. Well, look, I, 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 I'll just talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye. Well, I sure can't go shopping now. Addie's sick. I think I'll just take her some of my famous chicken soup. <laughs> now, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I came over to bring you some soup for your cold. <laughs> oh, well, you're too late. As soon as I hung up with you, the antibiotics took effect, so I just jumped right out of bed. <laughs> and into that dress. I, I can explain this. See, I, I felt so good when I got up that I decided to clean out all my closets and get rid of all the rags I haven't worn in a long time like this old thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have one on garage sale, aren't you? <laughs> well, why don't we just put this on your stove in case you have a relapse? <laughs> No, I can explain. You don't this. have to explain. It no, to see, no. And to think, when you sneezed, I blessed you. <laughs> well, now I am blessing you. <laughs> These are just my colleagues from the university. I know how dull you think they are. I mean, I knew you would be bored. I'm bored. The whole party is boring. And to this day, that woman has no idea what happened to her shower cap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, Nell. I might as well tell you the truth. The real reason I didn't invite you to the party is Professor Landry is here. Professor Landry? That dirt ball? He's <laughs> not a dirt ball. I mean, he has very high ideals and principles about his work, and he's the main reason I gave this party. You see, he may take a very important job at Columbia University, and if he does, he's taking me along as Dean of Education. That may be all well and good, Addie, but you lied. No, it's the job of a lifetime for me. I mean, can you imagine me, a dean at a major university? No, it's like a dream come true. But you lied to me. It's just a little white lie. Black people don't tell white lies. <laughs> I just couldn't risk you being in the same room with Professor Landry. I don't know why. Just because he gave me a C when I deserved an A? <laughs> no, because you threw a book at him. I was returning it. <laughs> now, look, I need him on my side. It's only because of my job. Oh, your job. Your job. <laughs> now I see. <laughs> Always get another best friend, but it's not every day that you get a job like this. <laughs> well, excuse me. No, come back here. I don't want to catch your cold. <laughs> <laughs> I went all the way over Addie's apartment because
because she said she was sick. I took her some of my homemade chicken soup. The poor chicken who died probably never told a lie in her life. <laughs> On you? Oh, get me some hangers. Never mind, I'll get them myself. Move. How is your swim, Grandpa? Not too good. The pool didn't work. Eddie needed oxygen, and they're keeping Malcolm overnight for observation. <laughs> well, see, you got to the sale. How do you like it? On you? <laughs> Nell bought a lot of orange things to get back at Addie. She had a party and didn't invite Nell. Didn't invite Nell. You know, I like Addie. She takes risks. <laughs> she told me she was sick. She lied to me. You lie to her all I the time. I do not. Yes, you do. I don't yes, lie to anybody. Do. I do not. And because I don't tell lies, someday I am going to heaven where I'm going to have to make new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it, Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa, I have the most wonderful news. Where's Nell? Under room. Oh, Nell! Wait, don't you? Nell! Oh, yuck. <laughs> Nell, I got the job. I got the job. You are looking at the new dean of education for Columbia University. And tomorrow night, I'm taking you out to dinner so we can celebrate. I would love to, Addie, but I can't. I don't have a thing to wear. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all she wrote. <laughs> Oh, it's so sweet of you all to give me this party. I'm really gonna miss you guys. By the way, where's Jonathan, and when is Nell gonna get here? Jonathan had to work late again. Oh. Uh, I think Nell had a class tonight, right, mm -hmm. Sam? Uh, yeah, she did. She had a test. Oh. Hey, I'd like to propose a toast, huh? Addie, I... I don't know if I could go through with this. I feel like I'm losing a daughter. Oh. Of course, I'm not old enough to have a daughter. <laughs> I mean a daughter at his age. You know? <laughs> but if I ever am, you're the kind of daughter I'd like to lose. <laughs> All right, you guys for Addy, huh? For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go talk to her. And just who might that be? It's me, Nell. Open the door. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Addie, I would love to invite you in, but I'm having a party. Excuse me. <laughs> and to this day, that woman still doesn't know what happened to her shower cap. <laughs> Hold it down. <laughs> now, I told you I was sorry about that. Just one more minute. More guacamole, Raphael, please. <laughs> it's catered. <laughs> now, we have been friends for too many years to let this come between us. No, we haven't. <laughs> we are the same little girls who played dolls together, who cheated in school together, who watched the Mickey Mouse Club together. Remember how we used to rush home from school and put on our Mouseketeer ears and sing all those songs? You were always a lousy Mouseketeer. <laughs> I was a great Mouseketeer. Yeah. You never had the heart of a Mouseketeer. Just the claws. <laughs> well, we shouldn't be standing here arguing about the Mouseketeers. You were so right. <laughs> Addie, don't pay any attention to Nell. You know she's upset. Yeah, I bet you were a great Mouseketeer. I was. Better than Nell. You know, I still remember all their names. See, there was Cheryl and Bobby, Cubby and Annette, and, and Karen and Tommy, and Doreen and Sharon. You forgot Doreen and her dog. I was saving them for last. Oh, yeah, well, what was her dog's name? White Shadow. 
Well, what was his middle name? <laughs> oh, Mel. Where'd you get that hat? Oh, good Mouseketeers, see their ears. I was still a great Mouseketeer. Oh, please. You can't even remember the words of the song. Honey, I know all the words. Oh, yeah? Well, yes. why don't you just sing? No problem. Well, get down. All right. Do um, yeah. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Um, yes. <laughs> Come along and sing a song and join our family. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E -E. Through all the years, we'll still be friends wherever we may be. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E Make him out. Forever let us hold our banner high. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M-O-U-S-E. <laughs> Cello would bring us back together. She didn't. <laughs> Nell? Nell, open the door. Nell? Oh, Nell, I'm leaving tomorrow. Aren't you even going to say goodbye? Well, thanks for the party, everybody. I'll give you a call as soon as I get to New York. I miss you. I miss you. Bye. You'll be good. Oh, Mel, I said goodbye. Well, is that party animal gone? <laughs> Simpson, what do you say we do the dishes? Good idea. You want to dry or drop? I'll drop. You drop this. <laughs> Neat. Why are you so mad at Addy? I don't know, Joey. Somehow it just doesn't seem important anymore. I bet you're gonna miss her. <laughs> Why didn't you say goodbye to Addy? Well, I guess I, I thought that if I didn't say goodbye, she wouldn't really leave me, you know? Don't worry, Aunt Nell. She'll write you. I've seen her handwriting. It's real good. These tears here in my eyes telling you am I blue? You'd be too if your dream. a time I was the only one 
it now I'm the sad and lonely one Lonely Was I gay Till today Now she's gone What are you doing, Addie? Unpacking. Unpacking? Professor Landry called. He turned down the job in Columbia. Does that mean that... you won't be leaving Glenlawn? You were right, Nell. He is a dirtball sold out all his high ideals and me along with him for a job at an oil company. Oh, Addie, I'm sorry. I, I really am. Are you? Why, of course. I know how much this job meant to you. Is that why you came over here? No. <laughs> I came to pick up my soup pot. It's in the kitchen. Good. Addie, that was a lie. That was a little black lie. <laughs> well, why did you come over? I came over here because... This... <laughs> what? Can't you hear? I said came over here because I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. We don't have to say goodbye now, now. I know that. I just want you to know that if you ever do leave, I know how. <laughs> you really wanted me to get that job? Hey, I'm not selfish. <laughs> I know how much you wanted that job in New York, but I also wanted you to commute. <laughs> oh, Nell. Now, you know, even if I did go to New York, we still spend all our Christmases together. And Easter, ooh, Labor Day, your birthday, my birthday, of Addie, course. Addie, 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 birthday. Addie, okay. Addie, I don't want to see you that much. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I've got a problem. Yeah, come over here, sit down, tell us. Oh, Joey. What's the problem? Well, I invited Linda Barker to the fourth grade picnic, but she told me her dad got a job in Seattle. Uh, I think Addie and I understand. We just went through something like that. Of course. And you're just upset because Linda has to move to Seattle. No, I'm upset because now she isn't moving. You see, your father turned down the job, and I've lined up two other girls for the picnic. 